We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Yanni Chirinos will be the starter for the Rays in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. And we are set for baseball here this evening. First pitch coming. Here it is. Grounded up the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0-1. First pitch, 7 o'clock. And the pitch. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Got it, got it. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up DJ LeMayhew. First offering on its way. LeMayhew, the former Colorado Rocky, he was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one year deal and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for come off season. Bases are empty, one man out. Sent on the ground out to second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. On to first and there are two down. That is third. The white fusion, number 99. Aaron Good. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. First pitch of the at bat. Oh. And there are the umpires assigned to this one, calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Hey, d -Roll, Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door, is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he is in the second with a two-out double. It's always nice to get something cooking in the first inning, even with two outs. Now your cleanup man steps to the plate and has a chance to drive in the first run of the game. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. Judge at second with two down. A little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0-2. And another foul ball.
Here's the 0-2. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Bottom of the first straight ahead. We are scoreless on the show. Jonathan Loisega, the Nicaraguan-born pitcher, gets the call to start in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Loisega has a big arm and a good changeup to go along with it. He's from Nicaragua, that long line of pitchers that come from there. I believe Dennis Martinez is from Nicaragua. This guy is a good fastball, low to mid-90s, but the changeup is his best pitch. But if he gets that changeup over early, he can make that 94-95 look 97-98. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Drill down the line. But a foul ball. One and one. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first that's out. The designated hitter. Okay. Okay. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next will be the right-handed hitting Jose Martinez. Here comes the first pitch. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. One out, nobody on. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judge is on the move, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record that the second third. out. The third baseman, Yandy. And that will bring in Diaz. Yandy Diaz. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Now here's the pitch. No, inside. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Comes in with the changeup, and it's 2-0. and oh. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line in right. Judge is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays. We are still scoreless. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Labor Torres. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No nope. for ball one. Count one and oh. Now the one oh. Torres brings a ton of pop to the plate with him, particularly against right-handed pitching. Some guys don't drive the ball as well when facing a pitcher who throws from the same side that they swing the bat, but that's certainly not the case here. 
Yeah, this guy just absolutely hammers right-handed pitching. You know, some guys like the ball in, coming towards them, and that's exactly what the righty-on-righty -righty matchup presents itself. A two-seamer in, a four-seamer that leaks out over the plate, a hanging breaking ball. This guy seems to absolutely hammer those. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. The catcher, Gary Sanchez. Standing in, Gary Sanchez. First pitch on its way. A ball and no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Looking up is the right fielder. Gone! A two-run home run off the bat of Gary Sanchez. And this is now a two-to-nothing lead for the Yankees. Wow, not every call is going to go your way. And there are some pitchers that pitchers think are pitchers' pitches, and you don't get that, and it puts you in a bad spot. And you could tell that it affected him. He was fuming, and he really wanted that last pitch. And the result, he lost focus and made that another bad it. pitch. The at field. the plate, Mike Talkman. As hey. he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two strikes to count. And a splitter is over for a cold third strike as he's left shaking his head, one gone. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees, it's strike one. Still only one out in the inning. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Urshela, 28 years old. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Into the box now, Luke Voigt. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Here comes the 0-1. Swung on and missed. That's strike two. Right three called, and the inning is over. The Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 2-0 New York. Stepping into the box, Austin Meadows. He'll start us out here in the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. 
the best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. A ball and a strike now. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hey! Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, that a high good. piece of cheese right swung field. at and missed. Hunter. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Into the box, Hunter Renfro. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Renfro, originally from Mississippi, he was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself I... into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And it's one and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Bases are empty, one man out. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Even two and two count to Hunter Renfro. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The two two one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Settling in now, G-Man Choi will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Popped him up. Voigt is there, and the side is retired. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're down two to nothing. Here's Brett Gardner now, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. One and O oh the count. Oh, tough to catch up when it's moving like that. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. All even now, two and two. And the pitch. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. 
DJ LeMayhew waits on deck. The 3 2 pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The next 3 2. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. Now that second base. Oh, man, that check swing was about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time, and he draws the walk. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Right back into a good hitter's count now after what was a pretty dreadful second inning. He's got to start throwing a lot more strikes. Quality strikes would help too. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Three and oh now. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Now the three and oh offering is offered at and missed for the first strike. He likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing, so that moves the count to three and two now. On well, its tailor made to short, six, four, three, and they turn the double play. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. First delivery to him on the way. Lays off 1-0. Hit sharply on the ground. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. Giancarlo Stanton will get a chance in the inning following the base hit. Uh, hey, d -Roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple of runs early already in this game, and now he gives up the two-out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible. And if two-out knocks are the answer, then so be it. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. O 1 count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. One left for the Yankees, but they're on top two to nothing. Now at the plate, Willie Adamas, seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Yeah. 
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. Loisega is one of the more prolific strikeout artists in the game today. He'll get into double digits in K's, and of course, that means he's got outstanding stuff every five days. One of the things that go hand in hand, Matty V, if you want to strike guys out, you have to have good stuff, and this guy has great stuff. He has two different pitches that he can strike you out with, and as they rate him on a scale of 1 to 10, this guy has two pitches that rate an eight or a nine, which is really hard to find in baseball today. The one two. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Sanchez finds it, and the throw is in time. Adamas is retired, and there's one away. So the base is empty here with one away, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. First offering on its way. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. And it's quickly 0-2. And Nothing in two count and the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gardner is there now and he has it two gone. Batting nine. The catcher. Mike. Zubito. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring up the catcher Mike Zanino. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Hey. swinging strike and now it's 0 2. Hey down in the count 0 2 I'd like to see a little choke and poke right here maybe work it up the middle or opposite field with two strikes. And a swing and a miss on a pitch that winds up hitting him and rather bizarrely the inning is over. Down in order go the Rays. They're still down it's 2 nothing. back at Tropicana Field and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far and overall he's really happy with the at bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game but they've seen a lot of pitches already and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning given the quality of the at bats they're putting together. Thank you Heidi. Into the box, Torres. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Labor, Torres. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Aye. behind 0-2 now. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Sliced hard on the ground. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. I don't know what side of the fence I fall on, boys. Old school, new school. I think I kind of stand right along that fence. But one thing that gets me jacked up is watching guys grind down in the count and drive base hits the other way. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. And he fouls this one off. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Oh one here's the pitch another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2 one and two to the Yankees catcher Shot. 
shot toward right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. In now, Mike Talkman. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. From the belt, kicks and deals. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3 0 ball game. Now that. Digging in for his second at bat, Gio Urshela. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And here's the ball out towards straightaway center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And the run will cross on the sack fly and make it a 4 0 game. Always productive to score runs when you can. And that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. So no one on now after the sack fly. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Luke Voigt. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Nope. Ball one. I'm sure he's frustrated by nope. that call. Yeah, no. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. Here comes the 1 0. Ball two. Hey, not a good spot to be nope. down 2 0. This guy has some serious pop at the plate. I'm expecting a big hack here. Pitch on the way. Hey. Brett Gardner would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Four runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. And they've had some good at bats against him all game long. It, it seems like it's just been hard hit after hard hit. As we take a look at his line here, the numbers do not lie. This has not been one of his better outings, and he'd be the first to tell you that. Stepping in now, Brett Gardner. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. As a look, now the pitch. Two out with the man at first. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. He's got it. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Yankees lead it four to nothing. 
Stepping in and ready for another shot. Brandon Lowe back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Here's the pitch. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. He pulls this one into right. Judge is there to put it away for route number one. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitches give up hits on well executed pitches. Batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. One out here in the Tampa Bay fourth. And up next will be the right-handed hitting Jose Martinez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. No runs, no hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. High in the air out to center field. Gardner is there. And that's the second out of the inning. Third baseman number two, Yandy Diaz. Digging in, Yandy Diaz. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning form. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. First offering on its way. Off the plate, ball one. The 1-0. -oh. There's a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. He may be down 2-0 after those first two pitches in this A-B, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They did miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. 2-1 now. Now here's the pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Two out, nobody on. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. The three, two, one more time. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Tuckman retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Coming to the plate now, DJ LeMayhew. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Well, he's still out there to start the fifth inning, but it's been a real grind of a start for him. The pitch count is much higher than he'd like it to be, so it's hard to imagine him working really deep into this game. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. 
But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Line to the right side. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. The ball, oh, man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. Here's big Aaron Judge. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. First pitch coming. Here it is. Softly hit toward the hole. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. Now that definitely the hitter. John Tyler. Thank you. Riding in, Giancarlo Stanton. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Sent fouled again and after being way ahead now it's even at two and two. Here's the pitch. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Into the corner and slicing foul. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Yankees four, the Rays nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at bats. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready for another chance. Austin Meadows. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. Woo-wee. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. The one-one. Is strike two swinging. One ball, two strikes, account. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far.
at the plate Hunter Renfro as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh he was a strikeout victim in his first try. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but a foul ball, and it's 2 1 now. Now a drive by Renfro. This is hit well out to left. Left fielder looking up. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Under Renfro leaves the yard with a solo shot. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Jima and Troy, the next to hit. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. He popped out in his first trip. One oh home. A swing and a miss, strike one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Pitch on the way. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gardner going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. The batter, number one, shortstop, Willie Adamas. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next will be Willie Adamas. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swinging a soft liner. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Everybody needs a little love in their life right there. Nice piece of hit and get you some right there. A little soft liner. He definitely wasn't on that baseball, but he got a little luck involved, a little love, and that thing found a hole right there into the outfield. Into the box now, Kevin Kiermeyer. He flew out in his last at bat. Pitch of the at bat. Hit on the ground out to short. Torres picks it up. What a play, and that ends the inning. Off a of one leg in the hole, falling away. That is pure magic. More baseball on the show right after this. Oliver Drake takes over to start now the sixth inning on the mound. Number 47, Oliver Drake. Next for New York, Torres. He singled his last time up. Labor Torres. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Now here it comes. 
Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Splitter, two and two. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Meadows moving back. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to left as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Gary Sanchez will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. set here it comes and that's by him it's 0 and 1 base is empty here with nobody out and this misses the outside corner so it's knotted up at 1 and 1 Fastball, close, but he didn't get it, two and one. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. Here now the two-two. Here's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. The batter. At the plate, Mike Talkman. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. First pitch on its way. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. One out, nobody on. A ball and a strike. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. And a good eye as he lays off, and the count moves to two and one now on the Yankee left fielder. Pitch on the way. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Gio Urshela will be next. To third. Field it cleanly. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting. The third baseman, Gio Urshela. Stepping into the box, Gio Urshela. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, well, that's off the plate. The 1-0. Line to the right side. That gets down and the inning continues. 
Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. So now to the plate, Luke Voigt, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. For his career in this matchup, he's one for three. A runner on first with two away. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. From the belt, the pitch wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's 5-1 Yanks. Here now is Mike Zanino. We'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Ball. Count one and oh. Hit in the air to right field. Judges under it. One down. Now batter. Number eight. Stepping up to the plate, Brandon Lowe. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Just a tick behind for a strike. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. We're in the sixth inning now of a five to one ball game. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. The 1-1. One, one. Now a swing and a deep drive to right. And gone. An absolute bomb. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And it's now a 5-2 game. Into the box now, Jose Martinez. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Judge is on the move. He can't get to it. This one's down. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Standing in now, Yandy Diaz, as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. The 
one. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Down low, two balls and a strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Tuckman is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now back, left fielder, Austin Meadows. Stepping in, Austin Meadows. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Here comes the first pitch. No, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball, a lot of different ways to get guys out. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. One for the Rays on the solo home run. Top of the order due up to start the seventh. It's now 5-2. Chaz Rowe is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 52, Chaz Rowe. All set for the start of the inning. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Brett Gardner. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch on its way. Ball in. The 1-1 one, one home misses off the plate. Rowe was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Fouled away. The 2-2. Two, two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. Now a ball lined to the left side. It could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hey. Strike 2 called on the inner half. 0 and 2 now. And action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right hander's begun to get loose. Oh, and two, here it is. To the left side, but it's well foul. 5 2, our score as we play inning number seven. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. Ready with another 0-2. 
And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Ripped down the first baseline. But that finds its way through for a base hit. Just goes to show if you're going to throw that two seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. In now, Giancarlo Stanton as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. In the dirt, and now let's see. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. Men on third with two down. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. There's absolutely no need to challenge him in this situation right here. Do yourself a favor, be smart, nibble a little bit, maybe use his aggressiveness against himself. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Scooped up, throw in time, and the side is retired. The Yanks leave one, and it remains five to two. Jonathan Holder gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Jonathan Holder. Riding into the box, Hunter Renfro, one for two in the ball game thus far. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. First pitch is a fastball inside, one and oh. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. Here's the one and one pitch. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Popped him up. And this is taken in for route number one. Now batter, the first baseman, G-Man Shore. One out now in the Tampa Bay seventh, and that brings up the corner infielder, G-Man Choi. First offering on its way. Bases are empty, one man out. And low, it's a ball and a strike. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. The one two and it's fouled away. Bye. 
The one two is laid off for ball two. Two two pitch is fouled away. Now the pitch. A shot down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The batter, number one. Good stop. Willie. Really a double. Now at the plate, Willie Adamas. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. And too high with the cut fastball. It's 1 0 now. Chuono now. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2 0, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom of the order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. And the pitch. Outside, 3 0 now. Three and one. Three and one. Here it is. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Two out, nobody on. line towards center field and that falls in for a solid base hit his second of the night bottom of the seventh inning will go at least one plate appearance deeper after the two out hit most guys assume they're getting a three two fastball in that count right there guys. But he was able to keep his hands back keep his nose in there and battle for a knock Chad Green picks over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ready with the 1 0. Two out with the man at first. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self-defense there. It's two and two. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. Fouled off. Ready with another 2 2. Helpful. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. 
Ray's strand just the one. They trail 5-2. Peter Fairbanks has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. At the plate, Torres. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The last at that, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. Kiermeyer is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Now batting. 5-2 our Gary. score as we get a look inside the numbers. It's our starter comparison for the two gentlemen that took the hill to start the ball game. In now, Gary Sanchez. So far, two for three in this one. From the stretch. Fairbanks originally from the state of Missouri he was a ninth round pick back in the 2015 MLB draft hey this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal being drafted where he was there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level here's one that misses high it's one and one hey. called strike and he's behind one and two. Here's the pitch. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. And he struck him out. Now, now in the box, Mike Talkman. He's Mike. 0 for 2 with a Talkman. sacrifice to this point. First offering on its way. Oh, and he had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. I'm sure the boys are going to blow him up in the clubhouse for that ugly swing right here. But he has a chance to regroup. Take a deep breath, take a step out of the box, and know you got a few to play with. And look out as that one ran in and got him. You know, with two outs and nobody on, that's the last now thing that. you want to do on the First mound. Eight. That really gives the Zero. opposition some hope Zero. that they can do something with this inning. Digging in once again, Gio Urshela, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate, that's just a great job to get your mechanics back under you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. A runner on first with two away. Yeah. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. This is line to left. And Meadows makes the catch for route number three. One left for the Yankees. They're still out in front, 5-2. So here's Mike Zanino. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. The catcher, Mike Zanino. First pitch of the at bat. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1 and 0. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Gardner. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now batting. Number eight. Yeah. 
Ready now, Brandon Lowe. He went deep last time up. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, that's Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. The 1 0 delivery. And he fouls this one off. That's a ball. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Now here's the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gardner going back. And this will bang up against the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. He got the pitch he wanted and he didn't miss it right there. Hammer job. He did. Runner at second, one away, and up next will be the right-handed hitting Jose Martinez. First pitch on its way. A ball of no strikes. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and it's a foul ball. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Runner at second here with one man out. Another one sent foul. The next one two pitch. Ball two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Aroldis Chapman is called upon with two out in the eighth as he's asked to complete a four-out save. Aroldis Chapman. Stepping in now, Yandy Diaz, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Chapman sets. Here's the 1 0. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Two out here and a runner at second. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Gloved by LeMahieu. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One left for Tampa. 
And the deficit remains 5 to 2. Coming to the plate now, Luke Voigt. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Voigt. Here's the first pitch to him. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Not a bad spot to miss right there. Much rather have it run inside than out over the plate where the hitter can do a lot of damage. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Oh, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1-2 and two now. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes. He kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. The 1-2. two. Ball two. I got to count two and two. Down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. This is line to left. Meadows has it, and there's one away. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Standing in, Brett Gardner. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And the pitch. The 0 1 pitch. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Right side and right into the shift. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. Hey, not an easy thing to do right there, Debra, with that stacked infield on the right side. They hit it through where the shift is, have to hit that in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he found a good result right there, Dan. Pitcher actually executed right there, got him to hit it where he wanted to, put good barrel, good contact on that ball, and was able to find the hole. No balls and a strike to count. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Throw over to the bag and the runner back safely. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit and it's 1 and 1. Runner at first here, one man out. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. This is on the ground over to first. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here that ball found the hole. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and a guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not. And now we've got a couple of guys on. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. The 1-0 is taken down and in for a ball. 
a time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Here's the 2-0. And, oh. and he gets this fastball over. It's 2-1. and one. one of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations where you can try and do damage. What do you want, the nasty slider? And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Hey, that's what you try and do as an offense. You get a four-run lead. Now they're a grand slam the ahead, game. Dan. But you're a former Not closer really. warming up. When you see a three-run lead and then your offense gets it to four, and you know that same situation's gone out the window. You're Don't tell me that didn't hurt you. Oh, oh, it does hurt you. Oh, oh, it does because, Dero, the only way you're going to get into this game is it has to be a save situation. Okay. You sit and watch eight innings of baseball. You get up to warm up in the ninth. And you're all ready to go thinking, hey, I'm going to come in and get me a three-out save. And all of a sudden, you're out of the game because it's a four-run lead. Of course you think about it as a reliever. At the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. Looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. A strike, and it's 2-1. and one. Line towards center field. Kiermaier is there, two gone. Now back, football. Labor. Torres. Torres will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. to minimize the damage here. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Chopper left side of the infield. He's got it. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Yankees forced to settle for one. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, and six coming up. It's the Yankees six, the Rays two. So next to the plate and for Tampa Bay, Austin Meadows. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Down by a bunch here, and what makes it even more difficult, they're facing the closer. Not going to be an easy task trying to tie this one or go ahead here at home. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 home. Ball two. 2-0. And the sinker is over that time. It's back to two and one. And it misses three and one now. Well, ball three there. Hey, and the Rays right now, they would love to take a leadoff walk to start this inning. The three one. Aye. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Fouled away. A payoff pitch one more time. 
And it's fouled away. The 3 2 one more time. And could this be the start? It's a long way back, but the leadoff man is on base to start their final set of at bats. The right fielder, Hunter. Now to the plate, Hunter Renfro. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over. Him. set and the pitch nobody out runner on first really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside The 2-0 on the way is high and outside for a ball. Your offense goes out and gives you a four-run cushion. You have to find a way to stop struggling. Compose yourself and get your mechanics on point. It'd be a shame to let this one slip away. The 3-0. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Up next for Tampa Bay, the first baseman. So striding in, G-Man Choi. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb. But hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden this thing feels doable. First offering on its way. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find a strike zone in the worst way. First and second here with nobody out. Fouled off. The 1-1. One, one. I got two on the count. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. The 2-1. is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. None out, runners at first and second. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Now batting. The shortstop. Willie Adamas. Up next for the Rays, Willie Adamas. He's two for three and looking for more here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. and one delivery ground ball foul down the left side the 0 2 on its way from Chapman and he looks at a sinker for a called third strike and now there are two gone it's been a really rough day for this lineup there's really no other way to say it not a lot of good scoring opportunities and when they've had them like right now it's just Here been an uphill God. battle for them to make anything positive happen. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. Two 
Chapman's ready. Here's the 0-1. One and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Hit down the line at first, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Tampa down to their final strike in this one, and he fouls this one off. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one. But he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four out save. Job well done. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 to two finish. The New York Yankees took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jonathan Loisega gets the W on the mound. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.